Hey everyone, this is Ryan at RunBiz. Welcome to Web Tip Wednesday. Today we're looking at how to spot phishing in 2021, and we'll unpack a little of what makes this year unique. In the year ahead, we expect to see a large increase in a specific type of phishing called spear phishing. They call it spear phishing because these attacks are highly targeted and typically include wildly specific information or details about different individuals in an organization. The reason this is such a threat this year is because of advancements in the ability to automate these types of attacks. In the past, it took a lot of time and effort on the hacker's part to pull something like this off, but now they have programs that can scan social media and company websites to pull together the information they need in order to be convincing. And just a side note, it's best practice to keep the amount of publicly available information about your staff to an absolute minimum on social media and websites. Definitely don't publish email addresses, but also evaluate how necessary it might be to publish staff photos and job titles. But let's get back on track. While the ability to automate spear phishing campaigns will cause a large rise in the number of attacks, it does come with one unexpected silver lining. The attackers are sacrificing some degree of quality for the sake of quantity. This means it should be easier to spot despite how much they might know about your boss's dog. So let's review three of the most important things to look for to detect a phishing email. First, we should check the email domain name. Even if the name appears to be someone familiar, take it a step further and check the actual email address. Oftentimes there will be clues in the form of subtle misspellings or maybe some extra letters or numbers. Second, we look for a sense of urgency. Phishing emails bait the hook with our emotions to get in the way of our common sense. So always be leery of anything that evokes a fear or panic-based response, uh, maybe tickles your curiosity, or just sounds a little bit too good to be true or too exciting. Lastly, be cautious of suspicious attachments or links. Phishing emails will always try to get you to go somewhere or do something. That might look like visiting a page that asks for some sort of credentials or login information, uh, or maybe it's a malicious attachment that they want you to download. So always check the URL address of a website that's asking for your login info. Um, it might appear to be a Microsoft 365 login page, um, but the domain name might tell you a different story. Also, avoid downloading anything that you were not already expecting to receive. If there's any doubt, Call the person it appears to be from and verify that it really was from them. And that's it for this week. I hope this was helpful. For more web tips, you can visit run.biz and head to the RunBizU section. And if you found this content helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for notifications anytime new web tips come out. Thanks for watching and have a great week.